Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Uh, this is part of the Resurrections in the Bible series. Uh, we're going to cover the resurrection of Jesus. But before we do that, we got to define some words. Jesus, uh, well, let's take a look. Now, let's take a look at the Apostles' Creed. Um, I went to a, well, I got my, uh, some Bible college from a Baptist-flavored school. And, you know, it's amazing uh, when you, recite the Apostles or Nicene or Creed. Creed is just a Latin word. It means I believe. Uh, they'll tell you, oh, that's a Catholic thing. That's a Catholic thing. It's bad. The Nicene or the Apostles Creed, word for word, comes straight out of the Bible. People who studied the Bible, who were well-versed in doctrine. But the Baptists don't like that. No, they want you to believe John 3.16 and and uh, God so loved the world and the pre-trib rapture and dispensational, dispensational truth. Yeah. from They want you to get your doctrine from people like Schofield who ab abandoned his wife and children. Uh, Bible calls people like that that those that don't provide for their own family are worse than an, than an infidel. And that is where they want you to get your doctrine from. Oh, yeah, turn on. Oh, get a Schofield reference Bible from a heretic that dumped his wife and children. Yeah, but he got saved in prison. Yeah, right. I have very little respect for Baptists. I really do. So, all right, let's read the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Oh, yeah, that's a Catholic thing. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, his only begotten son, I should say. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. And by the way, Mary had children after Jesus was born. James, the book of James, he was one of them. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. We're going to take a look at that. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, and the word Catholic there means universal. It has no reference to Rome. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now, does that look like heresy to you? Well, if you do, you're sadly lacking in Bible knowledge. So, so, this is from a reformed, what they call a reformed church website. So, all right. So, did we should define hell and heaven? You know, you've always heard it said, oh yeah, heaven's above and hell's beneath. Well, what does the Bible say? So, did Christ go to hell? Uh, really? Well, let's take a look. 
Now in the book of Matthew, chapter 12 and verse 40, Jesus said, For as Jonas, Jonah, was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now, is the heart of the earth, what is the heart of the earth? Well, it's not heaven. I can tell you that because heaven's above and we're going to study that. So, uh, so let's take a look at something. In Mark 8, 31, and he, Christ, began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed. And after three days, rise, and after three days, rise again. Now, rising means to go up from somewhere beneath, right? Steam rises from a boiling pot. It goes up, right? So where was Jesus for three days until he rose from the dead? Ah, there are a lot of theories. Well, not a lot, but there's several theories about that. So, if Jesus said he's going to go to the heart of the earth, let's take a look at what the Bible says about hell beneath and heaven above. In Luke chapter 10 and verse 15, Jesus said, And thou Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven, exalted means to lift up, which art exalted to heaven shall be thrust down to hell. Down to hell. Thrust down to hell. Hmm, okay, I guess if you believe Jesus, hell is down. Psalms 86, 13. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. Hell is low. Job 11, 8. It is as high as heaven. You ever heard of a mountain high? High is up. It is as high as heaven. What canst thou do? Deeper than hell. What canst thou know? So heaven is high and hell is deep. One is up, the other is down. Proverbs 5.5 5. Her feet go down to death. Her, state, her steps take hold on hell. What do you do with your feet? Your feet take steps. This is parallelism. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. So death is hell and you're going down. Isaiah 14, 15, speaking of the devil. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Hmm. Now, if you don't believe me, all you got to do is Pause this audio and video and open the Bible, turn to Isaiah 14, verse 1, and read the whole chapter. And then you can say, oh, okay, Chaplain Bob's not taking verses out of context. Man, I could do that, but, you know, you're talking a something I can prove in, you know, 15, 20 minutes taking hours. And most people don't want to spend hours for something that can take a few minutes, right? Proverbs 15, 24. The way of life, the way of life, eternal life, is above, above to the wise, that he may depart from hell 
beneath. So the way of eternal life is above to those that are wise in the Lord. The wise seek the Lord, that he may depart from hell beneath. Psalms 9, 17. The wicked, the wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Well, the Western world has forgotten God. So we're being turned into hell. Let's read 2 Peter chapter 2. And all the people that say Paul's a false apostle will tell you that 2 Peter does not exist. Oh, well, it's wrong. Because it confirms Paul as a beloved brother in Christ. 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 1. Speaking of Paul haters, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily, privately, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. Pernicious means hidden, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be even evil spoken of, and through covetousness. What is covetousness? Greed. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, pass that collection plate around, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, huh, there, this is the whole point why I'm reading this. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, for if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, Condemn them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the, wit of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds." The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Wow. Proverbs 9, 18. Hell is down, people. But he knoweth not that the dead are there and that her guests are in the depths of hell. You ever heard of the depths of the ocean? Down. Revelation 20 and verse 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Wow. Don't go there, people. Don't go there. Book of Psalms, 139 and verse 8. If I ascend, if you ascend, you're going up. If I ascend up, if I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Job 11, 8. It is as high as heaven. What canst thou do? Deeper than hell, what canst thou know? Oh, I said that already, but okay. 
Psalms 55, 15. Let death seize upon them and let them go down, go down quick into hell, go down quick into hell, for wickedness is their dwelling, dwellings and among them. Jonah 2, 2. And I said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou hear, heardest my voice. Now, if Jonah was swallowed by a whale, a whale's a mammal. Mammals have, are what they call warm-blooded. Reptiles are cold-blooded. That's why you see snakes, lizards, Lay out in the sun because they got to warm their bodies up. Mammals don't do that. If Jonah was in a whale, the body heat of that whale would have seemed like a sauna bath. So out of the belly of hell, cried I. He would have been in heat and utter darkness. Mark 9.43, Jesus. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life, eternal life, right? Maimed than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Let's go to verse 45. And if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that shall that never shall be quenched. Book of Amos, chapter 9 and verse 2. Though they dig into hell, what you know, when you dig a hole in the ground, it's down, right? Though they dig into hell, thence shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. And this is talking about the wicked. You want to dig a hole and hide in hell? Ain't going to help you. You want to go up to heaven? Ain't going to help you. Lord's going to find you. Matthew eleven twenty three. 23, Jesus. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shalt be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which had been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained unto this day. Hmm. Deuteronomy 32, 22. For a fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn, burn unto the lowest, lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Whoa. Let's pause here a minute. I got to look another Bible verse up. Uh, the first world's destruction was by water in the days of Noah, the flood. Next one's going to be by fire. Second Peter chapter three, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Not to believers, people. No, 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 because... In Matthew 24, Jesus told us what things to look for prior to his coming. This is talking about the unsaved, the unbelieving. The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Wow. All right, let's go back to, let's read Deuteronomy 32, 22 again. Because this is prophecy. Fire For a fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Ezekiel 31 and verse 17. 
they also went down into hell with him unto them that be slain with the sword, and they that were his arm that dwelt under his shadow in the midst of the heathen. Isaiah 14, 9. Speaking of the devil, hell from beneath, hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. Hmm. Ezekiel 31, and verse 16. I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall when I cast him down to hell. When I cast him down to hell with them that descend into the pit. Descending is down, people. And all the trees of Eden, the choice and best of Lebanon, all that drink water shall be comforted in the nether parts of the earth. Nether parts of the earth. What does nether mean? It means lower in position. Down. Hmm. Wow. Uh, believed to be beneath the earth's surface. Wow. All right. Um, in Revelation 20 and 13, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up. Why up? Because they're down and they're going up. Delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works. You know, World War II in the Pacific Theater when the United States and was fighting against Japan, there's a lot of people that died in the sea and they're going to be delivered up. Ezekiel 32 and verse 27. And they shall not lie with the mighty that are fallen of the uncircumcised, uncircumcised, which are gone down, down to hell with their weapons of war. And they have laid their swords under their heads, but their iniquities shall be upon their bones, though they were a terror of the mighty in the land of the living. All right, so do you get it? Heaven is above, hell is beneath. So when Jesus says he's going to be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth, uh, what does that mean? He's going down. Where? Where is he going down? Well, we're going to take a look at that. Um, I guess we're going to make, I'm going to make this a standalone Bible study. So, all blessing, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.